How does the soybean weed control look in your fields this year? Good day, my name is Mark Cartwright. I'm the Pioneer Field Agronomist from Northeast North Dakota. And I'm here out in Leeds, North Dakota, right on Highway 2. Uh, gonna showcase some good herbicide solutions for you moving forward to control some ever expanding broadleaf weed problems like kochia. Water hemp's coming into this area a little bit, as well as common ragweed. We've got some good solutions here to showcase today. So here's one of our classic untreated checks at this demonstration site. We've got kochia, we've got red rope pigweed, and uh, some boneyard grass and foxtail as well, kind of showing you the, uh, the site here and what kind of weed pressure that we're dealing with. So as we look to the Enlist 3 herbicide system, uh, with the addition of Liberty in there, some folks are thinking that Liberty is going to solve all their problems. And here we've got a, a plot with just Liberty post emerge by itself. And it really goes to demonstrate that it's not a standalone product. We really need to tank mix Liberty with the Enlist 1, that 2,4-D choline option to really get that great burn down and also control a broad spectrum of broadleaf weeds. As you can see with this treatment here, just a single post-emerge application of 2,4-D choline with the glyphosate or the Durango, uh, we're seeing too many kochia escapes through here. It wouldn't be uncommon to have glyphosate resistant kochia in this area, so I'm sure that's what we're seeing here. Uh, this mix would be totally relying on the 2,4-D to kill the kochia. And as everyone knows, 2,4-D by itself is just not a great kochia killer. Uh, really goes to emphasize the need for a pre-emerge, something that's gonna give us some broad spectrum broadleaf weed control. Uh, we follow it up with, with the Enlist 3 system. Uh, we can put in some Liberty into this tank mix, or we can continue to lean on the 2,4-D uh, with a little bit of glyphosate for some grass weed pressure. In this treatment here, we've got a Foria mixed with some Metribuzin, and we followed by that with some Enlist 1, 2,4-D with the glyphosate, Durango in this case. And as you can see, provided excellent weed control season long for us, uh, keeping really clean fields throughout the year should be a very good option to consider moving forward. In this treatment here, we've added in the Ever Pre-X. It's a Metulachlor type product in with our post-emerge application to give us that extended control for those troublesome late emerging broadleaf weeds. If you've got issues with water hemp, uh, maybe some common lamb's quarter, even some big infestations of common ragweed, uh, the Ever Pre-X is an awesome tank mix to put in and give us that lay by residual control late in the season. So in central North Dakota here, we've obviously got some glyphosate resistant kochia. We're hearing reports this summer of some potential dicamba resistant kochia. And as you can see from our earlier trial and treatment, we've got, we're not doing the greatest job with Liberty by itself against kochia. So it's really gonna take a multi-tiered approach to control some of these tough broadleaf weeds like kochia. And uh, you can see here, we've got some great, great examples in the Enlist 3 herbicide system. And we can control weeds with this system, including kochia, as easily demonstrated here today. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.